Hey guys, got uh, Gator Unleashed coming back at you here. Oh, we're still on uh, March the 31st, 2022. I uh, got a couple of things came in from Amazon. Uh, kind of wanted to bring to the channel and share. Uh, as always, things I have is pretty simple things. Uh, but what I always say is the simple things is what's always overlooked and can cause so many problems. Uh, I always take care of your basic simple things and everything else will fall in place. Uh, I bought me a Maverick, uh, a Mossberg Maverick 88 shotgun at Walmart maybe a couple of months ago. I think I touched on it on another video I was doing. Got it for, I think it was 208 tax and all out the door. Uh, I mean, you just can't beat that for a Mossberg Maverick 88. Uh, I, I didn't need it. And actually, I had just bought a shotgun that weekend before, but you very seldom see these at Walmart anymore. And I, I saw it that night and I went ahead and bought it. So. Haven't really done anything with it much. Um, and when you get one at Walmart like that, especially the Maverick 88, it didn't have uh, the sling attachments or anything. So you have to get those, thing, those things extra. Still a great deal though. Um, so I ordered my sling attachments from Amazon. Got them in. This, is, this fits it perfect. Uh, Uncle Mike's, they sell this at Amazon, uh, part number 18102, oh, for the 12 gauge, this is a 12 gauge, um, and this will also work on the uh, Mossberg 500, and I'm almost positive it will work on the 590, I don't own a 590 though, but I'm 99% sure it will, and it will work on the Maverick 88, um, so Got that on there. Got my sling. I want to show this off. This gun's not loaded. This, these are just 28-inch barrel. I mean, you talk about something to get out and hunt with. I wanted to show you guys something, too. A lot of people don't know this. See the daylight between um, where your barrel goes on here? That's supposed to be there. A lot of people will tighten this up right here, this nut, or this right here. I don't know that a lot of people do it, but I've heard of it being done and actually know of it being done by people in my very small circle of people I know in this old world. But you can see the daylight there when I get this just right. I saw it just a second ago. Yeah, right there it is. You you want that daylight there. Don't don't tighten this up and pull this barrel down against this uh, tube. If you do, it's going to have your barrel in a bind and it's going to tear your shotgun up. That's something that's really important, and that's one of those basic, simple things, but a lot of people don't know it. Uh, but yeah, I stuck me a mag holder on the back here. Uh, I had to screw these in, so I just made a little hole in my house to hold my extra shells. I've always liked to have a few extra shells. Got my sling attached. The sling in this pouch and, and the uh, sling mounts was like... $27 from Amazon delivered to the front door and of course you get your own you get whatever kind of sling you want but now as far as getting this as far as getting the swivel attachments let's see quick detachable super swivels as far as getting those the first set I ordered was wrong and it did say that it would work for a uh, Maverick 88 and that's been like a month ago <clears throat> these are right these was an Uncle Mike's, I'll start to say again, Uncle Mike's 18102. And it's got this extra stuff in here. Of course, the sling I had that I bought came with swivel attachments also. Um, but works just fine. Very pleased with it. Got my sling on. And again, no shells in this thing at all. But these are just a great shotgun. Maverick 88 is just a fantastic shotgun. Can't go wrong with it. Especially if you find one for 200 bucks. Uh, we don't know what kind of times we're going to be looking at here in this old country in the next months and years. Oh, hunting may become something that's uh, more than just a sport here in the future. So you can't go wrong with a good 12 gauge. I also took... I also took about a cylinder bore choke uh, for this because I want to shoot slugs through it. Uh, this shotgun came with a modified choke, and that's that's great for a lot of stuff other than a slug. 
And yeah, people shoot slugs through a modified chalk, and they don't have troubles. It's recommended if you're going to shoot a slug through your shotgun to use a cylinder bore choke. Um, now that's not going to cost you much money to get that and, and do that. This was $16 at the local gun shop. You may find it cheaper than that somewhere. I don't know. Um, that's not a lot of money. Then you've got that to shoot your slugs, and you can, you've still got your modified to put back in it, and that's a two-second job if you want to go hunting, squirrel hunting or whatever. Um, and then you may even want to get a full choke uh, if you want to squirrel hunt. And actually, I guess I would say that would be a good idea. Something else that people don't, that people forget to do when they switch their choke, uh, their chokes in and out, you're supposed to put a little anisease on those threads. I've never seen this happen, but I've heard of it happening, and I have seen it happen on other things. If you get that choke seized up in that barrel, it's staying there. You're going to have whatever choke you've got in there, it's going to stay there forever. Get you a little bottle of anisease. This stuff is, is dirt cheap. This was $8, I think. And uh, you can use it on all kinds of stuff. Use that when you put when you change your uh, chokes out on your shotguns. Make it a lot easier after you go out and shoot it. That can that can foul and get and seize in there, and it just won't come out. I've it's, I've seen it happen on all kinds of things in mechanical in my time. So I just wanted to bring that to you. Something else. It's uh, like I mentioned, most of the stuff I do is always simple. But yeah, if you're wanting a 12 gauge, can't go wrong right here. Um, not a 20 gauge you can't go wrong do do, 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 do outstanding with a 20 gauge um, you know you can take this with a slug burrow on it I don't know how far to reach out I've not shot it and tried it but I, I think I can most certainly kill a deer with this at 75 or maybe more I'll, I'll have to see I hear people talk about it shooting along but I'll, I'll test it myself but uh yeah, I just wanted to bring this to, to the channel, guys. Maverick 88. If you find one at Walmart, um, they've probably gone up already. And I've only had this a couple of months. Two months ago, that little Hatfield single shot shotgun was $94. I noticed the other... No, I'm sorry. They was $108. Now they're $124. So they've gone up $16 in the last two months. Uh, and I'm sure these Mossbergs have too. Uh, they had a Mossberg 500 at Walmart for like 267 and it comes with three chokes. Woodstock, a little bit fancier, nicer. Probably actually is a better deal than this Maverick is if you could afford that extra budget. Um, I didn't get it because I just had got this. And, and this is basically the same gun. It's got a few little things that's cheaper. Uh, this trigger guard on a, uh, on a Maverick is plastic and they're still on the... 500 or there might be aluminum but a little better quality but very few differences the same gun basically but now these will do you some good right here um i don't think i had anything else i was going to try to share with you guys about 230 bucks right here and i've got an outstanding 12 gauge shotgun with some flexibility between slugs and uh shot so uh, just something that maybe you guys get something out of. Uh, like I said, don't don't over tighten you. Don't over tighten this right here. That will cause you trouble with your barrel when you take that barrel off and put it back on. If you over tighten that, it put your barrel on a bind. Um, you guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Glad to have you back in the channel. Uh, I hope this helps somebody. I looked on YouTube. I couldn't find anything about uh, putting a putting a sling on your Maverick 88 from Walmart. So, so maybe this helps somebody. But anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Peace out.